In this video, I'm going to be breaking down one of my favorite passing concepts in Madden 21 from the Los Angeles Rams offensive playbook in the tight flex formation. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is all about, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in this game. And so if you are looking to get better at Madden, I want to encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It's completely free and it allows you to stay up to date with everything that we have going on here at the channel. Now, as you're watching this video, if you have any questions at all, feel free to shoot me a text message. My cell phone number is 208-218-6900, and I'll put it at the top right of the screen, and I'll also put it in the description for you. Okay, guys, so I wanted to go over this PA post-shot passing concept. I think that the gun tight flex is one of the better passing concepts in the entire game, at least right now. And so I want to share with you kind of what I'm doing from it, a couple different things that you can learn from it. And we're just going to kind of go with the traditional zone drop set of 25, 5, and 5. And I want to share with you a couple different uh, couple different route combos that you can use on this. So first and foremost, we're going to start out with kind of a traditional uh, Mabel, Mabel coverage. So as you see right here, we're going to start out with like a traditional cover three Mabel. And all we're going to do is we're going to smart route that that square receiver so that he goes a little bit shallower and then essentially what we're going to do is we're going to put the running back or the r1 receiver on an option route we're going to smart route that option route and then we're going to put the x receiver or the x tight end we're going to put him on a flat route just like this right here and what you're going to see is you're going to have a lot of crossing action now if there's if there's you know no flats no hard flats you can throw to the tight end um, if there are hard flats you see that this running back does get in a really unique little spot right there um, that was a spot it was a quarterback spy which was crazy but he will typically be able to hit that running back against any zone coverage um, just because of where he's going to sit okay so I'll show you that real quick here um, but I'll also show you some other routes so again you're smart routing the square receiver you're going to put the running back or the r1 receiver on a smart route and option route and then you're going to put the x receiver or the tight end on a flat route okay and then you're just going to snap the ball now what you're going to see is this route to the triangle receiver typically does a good job on the sideline of getting some separation you also are going to have uh, you also are going to have a lot of opportunity on this opposite side as well so uh, another thing that you can do to make this thing go a little bit smoother for you is if you wanted to you can also streak the x receiver so i can streak the tight end and then i can basically create combinations off of that so for example i could take i can use some motion snapping and some motion some motion techniques as well so one thing that i could do is i could take the square receiver on this play and i could use him as a little zig route little quick little quick route right little underneath route i still have that smart route option route, but now i have a three by one set where match coverage is not going to be as good against three by one you'll see here you got these underneath routes but what you'll also see is that your triangle receiver is now completely free on the sideline you see right there wide open laser against you know pretty much any cloud flat depth of the game this is also really good if your opponent is running some type of cover two. Uh, cover two is becoming a lot more uh, popular in this game so far. And I want to share with you a little bit of a route combination that you can use. So uh, if they are running something like a cover two defense, something like this right here, uh, I want to share this with you. So I'm just going to kind of back the line off a little bit. But the route combinations that you have are absolutely unreal from this. So you can basically um, you know, do similar similar things, right? Um, this is actually probably a little bit better against this cover two. But if I motion the square receiver over on his skinny post, you're going to see that this skinny post is going to do a really, really good job at beating the cover two. You see right here. Now, they are kind of running to the same spot, so you only want to have one of them on that route. But as you can see, that, po that skinny post does a really, really good job. Another thing that does a really good job is the same, and the, the beauty of the, the tight flex is what you can do from a motion perspective. Um, it's the same basic motions here, but we're gonna see here, we're gonna go into a little bit of a bunch type of set here. And what you'll see is that triangle receiver, as long as you have some time in the pocket, will clear over any zone drop on a cloud flat that is possible. That's what makes this route 
so effective, okay? The next thing that you're gonna notice here is, let's say that I go to, let's say that I'm in this, this concept right here, um, and let's say that they're running, uh, let's say that they're running that cover three Mabel one more time here, okay? I wanna show you another way that you can kinda use this play to your advantage. It's with this motion of the square receiver. So I'm gonna streak the X receiver, which is the tight end. I'm gonna motion over that square receiver on a little route. And then what I like to do is I'm gonna take that isolated slot and I'm gonna put him on a fade route. Uh, and the running back can just go on another option route, a little smart route option route. And what you'll notice is when you pair this crossing route over here, this crossing route does really, really good when you pair that with a fade or a streak. Um, you're gonna see you're gonna open up some lanes, some throwing lanes in there as well. The other thing that you're gonna notice is you still are gonna have um, a really, really good opportunity to to hit this square receiver when he comes across here. So again, this motion out, there's that cloud flat. Cloud flat does not cover it. As you can see, it's probably one of the most unique routes in the game. You just have to get the possession catch down. But as long as you can make that possession catch, um, it's gonna be working really, really, really well for you. Now, what about cover four? Now, in my opinion, cover four does the best against this specific offense. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't completely stop it, but it does give you some Kind of a starting point so against cover four what i like to do is i like to actually most uh, put that tight end on a hitch route and motion him to the opposite side as you see right here it's going to create a little bunch type of set and so basically what we've done is we've created these little option little curl routes on both sides and, and hoping that we're going to get that that square receiver over the top um, sometimes it does depend a little bit on the, the type of cover four that you're facing and that's why you always want to be able to like if you're facing the three through five wide cover four another little thing that you can do is you can motion over the triangle receiver on his little corner and now you're going to take him from a crossing route into a corner route you'll find that you know one of these guys will be open as you see here on the sideline Devonte adams able to hit him so those are some things another thing that you could do let's say that you're again the cover four stock i think does okay uh, if you use the matching cover four with zone drops, I think that does the best um, that I've seen, but it doesn't always stop it. Okay, there are certainly uh, instances where it doesn't stop it. But if you watch this right here, this square receiver, this is that cover four again, you're gonna see you know, that you can hit this, this running back route at will. There's also other plays in the offense that you can use. For example, you could go to a play like bench switch with this little corner route. And if they're running the, the, the cover four with the stock, you know, with zone drops, basically, you're going to notice that the circle receiver on the outside typically will do a really, really good job. Um, as long as the guy doesn't have deep elite, which in this example he does. But let's say you put, you know, let's say you put that same combination on the opposite side. You'll see that if they have that deep out elite and you're playing press coverage and you have that streak to be able to pull the route, you'll see right here. See, that's what we were looking for, as you can see. So this formation is a beast. It's a beast. I would encourage you to dive into it. I'm going to be diving into it a little bit more over the course of the next month. But this tight flex formation is very difficult to guard. It's very uh, unique. And I think it's got a lot of potential. So uh, I'm going to be working on this a little bit. If you guys want to get my free offensive and defensive schemes that I release every single week um, to the community, all you have to do is text the word Madden to my cell phone number, which is 208 218-6900. We release free schemes every week, offensive and defensive. Most of the time, they're one to two hours in length. And we've broken down the strong close, the gun bunch, the trips tied in, the U trips, the big nickel over G, the nickel three through five wide, um, the trips tied in offset, as well as several other formations. And so if you want to get that full playlist where it gives you all the schemes that we've done, and it also will give you access to all the schemes that we're going to do in the future, go ahead and text the word Madden to my cell phone number, which is 208-218-6900. Thanks for your time, guys, and I hope you enjoyed the video breakdown.